Hey y'all, it's Spirit to Life Code 43 and I'm here to give you the mid-month of September, your 2023 reading for the Zodiac sign of Aquarius. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, you guys know I send you guys so much joy, love, peace, and harmony, happiness, always welcome, welcome back. Aquarius, you guys rock, you're awesome. I appreciate all of you guys. If you guys are cross watchers, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us here. Please remember that when it comes to tarot, oracle, pendulum, any kind of readings, that it's important that you guys focus on the energy and the messages and how it resonates with you in your life. Never ever force a reading was for you, will be for you. What is not, please leave behind for somebody else as it may benefit them in their lives. Of course, you guys can always forward a video to somebody or share it. That's awesome as well. But never ever force. Always first and foremost, do go to God, Jesus Christ, your angels, incredible spiritual teams of healers, ancestors, your family members, your loved ones, your friends on the other side. You guys have incredible support teams that got you. They are clapping for you, cheering you on, rooting you on. They're with you. Allow your angels to intervene. Ask that they intervene. Always trust in God first and foremost at all times. Listen to your intuition and do what's best for you and your families. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. You guys are so appreciated. I appreciate all the cool compliments and comments you guys rock. All the information about me is listed in the description box below. And I hope that you guys will continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And um, get in where you fit in based on my services. My email is available, so I'm happy to help if you guys need it. So please feel free to reach out as necessary. This is the mid-month karma reading. And so it can get very deep if you feel like the subject matter is too sensitive for you, please feel free to click off. You can always come back. I'm a life coach. I do tarot. I do a lot of stuff on this channel, things I will be adding and all kinds of things. So this is an all-inclusive channel. I do all kinds of stuff. So you're always welcome to come back to watch other videos of mine, tarot, with life coaching, all kinds of stuff. Do what's best for you. We're sending you love and light. Please remember that these readings are to give you guys clarity, a heads up, it's preparation, and to let you know that they did not get away with betraying you and hurting you. There is a God. He is real. I'm just a vessel. I'm ordained to do this. And I'm happy to serve God at all times. But vengeance is the Lord's. Okay? Vengeance is his. So whatever karma I'm seeing here and getting, this is just what I'm getting. But God knows all. Okay? So let's jump into your reading. The overall energy is in regards to those who broke your heart and mistreated you. And... You know, this could be a love interest. For most of you guys, it is like an ex love interest or somebody you're closing out a cycle with. But for others of you, this can be family members. It could be friends. It could be, you know, frenemies, people you don't rock with anymore and don't deal with or people you had to cut out your life. It can be many people. It don't have to be just one person, but oftentimes it is romantically linked to like an ex, a spouse, twin flame, soulmate, something like that. Overall energy is moody. Somebody's emotions are all over the place. Very unstable. And I think you guys started to question like, is this person schizophrenic? Are they bipolar? What's going on? Well, the world is being enlightened on what a narcissist is. So this is why we have all these videos about narcissists. Some of them are narcissists and, you know, they've been diagnosed with a disorder and it is a mental disorder. It is a mental condition. And these people have a very high sense of self, but it's not in a healthy way. It's not like high self-esteem in a healthy way. It's more like arrogance and lack of empathy. And, you know, they're very disrespectful. They don't put enough care into others. They're very selfish and very uh, manipulative and tricky. A lot of trickster energy. So, and a lot of them, you know, they're liars, you know, pathological mostly. They're very moody, but the world is enlightened about them. This is why you guys may have wondered, like, what's going on with this person? What's wrong with them? Why are they acting this way? They couldn't break you and they're learning that they can't run from God. They cannot run from their bad karma that they have accumulated. So they're, they're angry about it. Okay. Not that you guys care. A lot of you guys are like, good, be mad because they had no problem hurting you and taking you through the ringer and cycles after cycles. A lot of you guys waited for them to change because narcissists make a lot of promises that they do not keep. They're rarely there for you. They breadcrumb people. And this is what happened. But now you're saying, no, you can keep those breadcrumbs. Because nobody can fill up on breadcrumbs. It's not enough. They took too long to change and elevate. 
You gave them time. A lot of you guys feel like you gave them too much time. And you found out that they are emotionally unavailable. Like I said, their emotions are all over the place. They're hot and they're cold. One minute they're lovey-dovey. The next minute they're cold as ice. And you're like, what is going on here? The extremes, the in and out, the running energy. Always running, here and there. They're emotionally unavailable. Communication is weak. It's painful. It's stressful to deal with people like this. There's no growth. There's no positive change. It's just false starts with these people and you are sick of it. You feel like they're holding you back. A lot of you guys had to cut this person loose. They were very materialistic. They were all about the shine, the glitter, the glitz, the gold. But everything that is glitter is not gold. Everything is not genuine. Everybody's not authentic. You were. You were the real deal. You offered real love. They focused on 3D materialistic things. Not love, not self-care, not spirituality, not growth. They pretended. Some of these people will sit right next to you in church. They're there for the amusement, for praise, for them. Glory goes to God. They may have really like been big on clothes or shoes, cars, you know, money, trying to keep up with the Joneses and overspending, putting materials, things in front of you or over you, looking down on you because maybe you didn't have the most expensive this or that. They always took aim at you and your self-esteem. They were very materialistic and disrespectful about it. You don't look down on anybody. I don't care if you're the richest person in the world. Everybody deserves to be treated with respect that they give. This person was very mean and disrespectful. And you're so done with them. The answer to everything that they want is a no. You don't want to talk to them? No. You don't want to meet up with them? No. I'm hearing like no scrubs from like TLC. You don't want to scrub. Can they have some of your time? No. Are they invited to the cookouts and the parties? No. You don't even want them calling you for your birthday. It's like, no. For those of you who are completely done, and of course you guys get this choice, no is very clear. This is an exclamation mark. It's like no and never. The charm is not working. This person was very sly and witty and charming, although they put it on thick. They put that lovey-dovey, you know, on quick and uh, thick like spell felt like a love spell in a way and they may have gone to a practitioner or something to do a love spell especially if you're dreaming this person a lot like they're trying to tap into your energy especially sexually this person want to woo you and bring you back but this person was so disrespectful they were not there for you you know they pretend to be sweet and kind just to get their way. They know how to get calm to get their way. And they may be coming back your way because they are a homeless drifter. So they're looking for a place to lay their head. Some of them could be losing homes, jobs, finances. Spirit will often take what they value most, their money, their belongings, their cars. Things will be repossessed, foreclosed, eviction notices. Everybody's putting them out. Nobody wants to deal with them. They're not fun to be around. They're fake. People know that they are a fake trickster. They are so mad. <laughs> they are big mad. It says, you crank like a machine. They are mad, big mad. They can't stop your shine. You guys rise like the phoenix. You rise high. You keep going. You get up. You persevere. You push through. You bounce back. Your bounce back be on 100 because you guys are focused on the bag too, but in a healthy way for generational wealth, for success and comfort. Not to dangle the carrot over somebody's head and put somebody down or in a competition. You don't see a competition. You're focused on winning, being the best you. You're focused on being successful, making it, leaving a beautiful legacy behind for your family. This person is hot. They're boiling over. They're angry because everything they tried has failed. It's backfired. All the lies, all the games has backfired. You see them as very unstable, mentally unstable, and very unhealthy. You don't want anybody toxic like that around you. They vibe too low. They stay up. I'm here and they stay up late at night thinking about you. They're hot. They're mad. Big mad. 
You guys are like, stay mad. Who cares? You know, where was this energy when this person was a thief and they stole your time? They stole your money. Some of you guys still have to watch your wallets and purses if you're around them. If you have kids and you guys are connected or property together. They stole your energy. Always being sneaky. Narcissists are very sneaky. They never tell the whole truth. Most of what they say is 100% lies. They never tell the whole truth. They don't like answering questions directly. Half truths equal whole lies. Some of this, some of that. They'll tell you they don't know when they do know, but they don't want to give you the truthful answer. This is a thief. This is a taker. They were just receiving. The more you gave, the more they wanted. They were greedy. They didn't need to steal anything. Nobody has to steal. They stole because they wanted to. And they would lie to get whatever they want. And they're still in this energy. Never tolerate abuse of any kind. I cannot stress that enough. Keep your pepper sprays. Change the doors. Change your um, locks to your doors. I mean, if you have to. Like if they moved out or you moved out, change your locks. Get you, you know, the ring door camera or something like that. It's important to have your videos and your footage today because you guys are focused on abundance having healthy relationships, beautiful friendships, long lasting relationships and partnerships, building a legacy, businesses, entrepreneurship. You guys are calling in abundance when it comes to love, real love. And you guys have good taste in the finer things. They're jealous of that. And like I said, this is a thief. This is a taker. So have your cameras, keep your pepper sprays, be observant. You guys are creating better healthier habits for yourselves, eating better, more fruits and vegetables. Um, I'm seeing more uh, smoothies, changing up your diet, exercising. You guys are just really loving yourself from the inside out, and it looks beautiful. You guys look amazing. You're gorgeous. You're awesome. You're beautiful. You're outshining them, and they can't take that. So they may try to pick a fight or argument or even be combative. So yes, keep your pepper sprays. You guys are in the car. Switch that pepper spray out of your purse and into your pockets in case you need it. Know how to use it. If your kids are old enough, teach them how to use it. Stash it certain places, you know, safe places, but out of reach of your kids, but in the reach of where you can get to it. Perhaps like in your room, keep extra in your car, get a bunch of them. Teach your family how to protect themselves. People are crazy. They're walking into people's houses today. People are so jealous of others because they fed off of you and they're not being allowed to. It's stopping. God is putting a stop to it. This is why we're seeing so much chaos in the world. These narcissists are being exposed and they're falling. They have been exposed. If you guys haven't got there yet, you will. Keep learning about them. Outsmart them. Keep them in confusion. Give them the same answers if you have to deal with them. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> give them that, you know, that dry okay that they give you. Keep things short and simple, you know, because I know some of you guys have kids with them. You may have to deal with them, but short and sweet. Don't go back and forth. Short and to the point. Think what you want in your head, but outsmart them. Leave them in confusion. The less they know, the better. Only what they need to know. Maybe just about the kids' progress. They have good health. They're doing good on their progress reports. Here's your copy. Simple to the point. Don't argue and go back. They thrive and live off negative reactions fighting, arguing, being combative, provoking you. This person likes to provoke you. Do not tolerate any kind of abuse. Call authorities if you have to, but you spray that pepper spray if you need to because those few seconds of them burning may mean you get to live and survive. Things can be replaced. You cannot. I don't trust this person because they'll do anything for money. They'll do anything for what they want. And they're desperate because they're losing opportunities. They lost you. A lot of them are losing their homes and people don't want them on the couch. People don't trust them in their houses. They don't like them. They don't like spending too much time with them, if at all. And it's important that you guys know to forgive your ancestors and the people before you who did not teach you about narcissists directly. You guys had to learn the hard way, like a lot of us, myself included. Forgive them and just Thank them as well for what they did teach, what was passed down. And just know as being the chosen ones, it is you guys' responsibility to pass down the knowledge for your kids and them to pass it down to theirs so that people can be a more healed and woke humans, you know, be more healed, more woke. 
and aware of what's going on in this world. Because a lot of people are backstabbers. They smile in your, in your face, right? What's the saying? They smile in your face, but what's the song? They All the time they want to take your place. They're backstabbers. They're fake smiling. They're not happy. They pretend to be. Even those, you know, grins and that evil laugh that they have, it's all fake. It's demonic. Their whole lifestyle is, is a lie. It's false. They're breaking down and like I said, they're mad, they're angry and they may pick a fight they want to because they cannot stop you. They did not break you. They love to get under your skin. They love to take jabs and say the most horrible and mean things to get a reaction. This is why you guys have to feed yourself positivity that you are loving. You are loved. You are amazing. You are triumphant. You are abundant. You are beautiful. You are successful. You will win. You will persevere. You will be very happy and healthy and manifest all your dreams and goals. God is with you. Let no weapon formed against you to prosper. Return all that negative energy back to them 50 billion fold. Keep loving life, keep winning, and focus on all the blessings coming in because I do see a lot more gifts, spiritual and physical abundance coming to you. Manifest like your green candles, say prayers, day and night and throughout the day have your meditation time with spirit call in your angels to help you to protect you and your kids and family you guys i feel like are on your a game you guys are cranking like machines you're making it happen just remember to make sure you get your rest as well stay very balanced you're too strong for them that's why they can't go with you and they can't have any more of your blessings they're not deserving let them sit in their misery and keep taking losses because that's what they have accumulated. The answer to them is no. Their games is over. They lost. They had time to change and they failed. Now they have to deal with a lot of bad karma and that's between them and God. They need help and it's up to them to get it. You're not concerned. It's not your business. Focus on what you need to do. You have blessings ahead and you deserve amazing things and a wonderful life. Okay, Aquarius, this has been your reading for the mid-month of September, your 2023. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you, as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you all so much happiness, harmony, love, and light. And of course, abundance. Time's abundance. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, Aquarius.